In this video, we'll take a look at an interesting free timeline package. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone, this is Omar Balfaki. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If not, welcome to this channel where I create game development tutorials and from time to time I upload my short films. If you're interested, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video is uploaded. This video is sponsored by Unity. They asked me to talk about anything and I wanted to take this chance to shed some light on this Unity package. It's in addition to the default timeline, it has a few additional playables which mean new tracks to use in the timeline. I didn't know about it until recently Super Dave shared it in uh, our Discord server and we had a good discussion about it and about other tools. So uh, thanks Super Dave. Links to his channel and our Discord server are in the description below. You can get the package from the Unity Asset Store for free. And after installing it, you'll see a bunch of new track options has been added. Let's take a look at them. First, we have Light Control, which is a track that lets you modify your light settings in the timeline. Each clip has a different setting. When the timeline is played, the light will have the setting of the current clip. We can mix these two clips to have a smooth crossfade transition. Navmesh Agent Control. This one is interesting. You can modify the nav mesh target within the timeline with no codes needed. It can be helpful when having an interactive cutscene and you want the NPC to walk towards the player or a point of interest. Note that it works only in runtime. Screen Fader is a simple track yet very effective, which can help to fade the screen for smooth transitions. Normally, we have to create an animation track for that. Here, you can simply fade the track and it will do the trick for us. Time dilation can be used for cinematic sequences and action scenes to adjust the time scale to create some cool slow-mo effects. Transform Tween is very similar to the NavMesh Agent Control track, but this one uses the transform, the position and rotation of two targets, point A and point B. Also, it runs in the editor. You can see your object traveling between these two points. Video Script Playable. This one can help you play a video on a specific frame in the timeline with few options to modify. Text Switcher. It can save a lot of time to create subtitles. The only issue with this one is that it uses the old UI text. But don't worry, Super Dave created another version of that for TextMesh Pro. You can download it from his GitHub page and simply drag it into the project. So, these are the additional tracks you can get from this free package. Even if you don't think you want to use it all or any of them, you can still take a look at their script files and see how to create your own playable. It will definitely help you to navigate these templates. Again, thanks to Unity for the sponsorship and thanks Super Dave for sharing this package. So this is the end of the video. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know if you got any questions or if you want to share any interesting packages or if you published your own. I can make a video about it and share it with the community. To see more of these videos, remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video is uploaded. This is Omar Balfaki. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.